Okay, so New Zealand's super unequal. We used to be the most, you know, egalitarian society in the in the 50s. Um, but now there's such a massive gap between the, the, the wealthiest and the people down the bottom, the working class, and the middle class who are shrinking. And if you look at the academic research about it, which unfortunately isn't presented to us day to day in, in the news media, that leads to all sorts of social problems, the sort of problems that I deal with in my day job around alcohol and drug abuse, to suicide, to depression, to um, mistrust, to people just generally feeling like a general malaise that things aren't quite right. There's 285,000 Kiwi kids in poverty. That's one in three Māori kids, that's one in three Pacifica kids. Um, the factory farming, state of factory farming in this country is disgusting, despicable. The arts is completely ignored, it's underfunded. A lot of my students still struggle for the basic necessities of life. Um, the ability to put food in the plates, the ability to keep warm at night. If New Zealanders just put themselves in other people's shoes, I think we'd be so much more sympathetic and we'd just be a better nation. Born and raised here, I'm proud to be a New Zealander and a Māori. And to see our country from when I was a kid to now and how much it's changed the waterways and everything, it's sort of a bit, but sad for me really, yeah. It's pretty clear that the neoliberal experiment that started in the 80s here in New Zealand hasn't worked. Um, the people at the bottom are not improving the situation, it's worsening. The people at the top have a lot more and I'm not opposed to anyone having wealth. Um, I don't want a flat you know, system where everyone's equal. I don't think that's a realistic goal, but I really believe that the gap between the rich and the poorest really needs to change so all those other things that that fall out of that inequality improve.